Oh, good, good. Zip it around, huh? Zip it around a little. Yep. <laughs> All right, a happy Wednesday. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Here we are. Yes, we are. You know what? It's a great day in the day today. Great day in the neighborhood today. That's it. A great something in the neighborhood. Something oh. like that, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my sweater? Okay. <laughs> Our top story today is results from the Zillow Housing Trends Survey. Yes. And they do these every year and they interview people who have recently bought a home and ask them what their um, top criteria was and how the process went, etc. So we have some statistics from that and they are interesting like they always are. So how old do you think the average U.S. home buyer is? I know. How old? Uh, 46. Nope, 45 years old is the average U.S. home uh, buyer. Oh, they missed it by a year. And but, are but they married or single? Married. They are married. Have they been to college? They have. They have. They have a four-year college degree. Yes, they do. And where did they move? Locally. They moved to the south, generally oh. in the U.S. They moved mostly to, to the south. Wow, that's amazing. I read this report. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to keep the audience... This is our audience participation part. Yeah, I'm not oh. doing so good. <laughs> so what kind of home did they buy? They bought a single family detached three bedroom, three bath home in the south. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. I was just it was on the tip of my tongue. I was just getting ready to say that. And it was between one and two thousand square feet on average. Um, and sixty one percent of home buyers recently moved from a home they already owned. So they either sold that home or kept it, but sixty one percent were were already home owners. That's 61%. So I would say 61% of the people that moved either made a contingent offer or something similar. Something similar would be a bridge loan that they got to take out on the equity they were already in so they could make an offer on the house non-contingent. Or they sold their house first, moved in with relatives or rented a place, and then made a bona fide non-contingent offer. Would you yes. say that? Yes, I mean, was? contingent... Offers have been very challenging in this market because it's been so hot and so competitive. Um, so people are doing whatever they have to do to get their cash together to buy their new home. Yeah, but contingent offers can work. So it's not like they don't work. It's very difficult. You get 10 or 12 offers on a property, like it can happen, and the contingent offers seem to end up in the bottom of the pile. Now, if you've seen a property that's been on the market 30, 45 days, that possibly could be a different story, but that's hard to find a property that's been on 30 to 45 days that meets all the criteria that a home buyer is looking for. Yes. So the uh, what characteristics are home buyers looking for? What do you think their number one thing they're looking for is? Location. Location. It's always locate location, but. It needs to fit in their initial budget. 84% of home buyers' number one characteristic on looking for a home is it fits in their budget. So that is always good. More further down in this report, it said that cash buyers are 19% more likely to stay within their budget than someone getting a mortgage. Just 33% of them go over budget because it's easier to do when you calculate it in a few dollars per month over 30 years. Well, and I would say once you get in the market and start making offers, and if you've been approved at a certain price, then you want to get approved at a higher price. So even though you're still looking in the same market at the same price, you're going over list price. Is that uh, basically what That's we've right. been seeing? That's what we've been, been uh, seeing. The number two characteristics people are looking for in a home, I was surprised by. It's air conditioning. So because we live here in Ventura County where it has, we have perfect weather, I'm right here at the beach, and we really, air, air conditioning is never really concerned. We have people come from other places that it is a big deal, and they always ask, you know, where's the air conditioner? So most of our houses here don't even have it. So it's funny that air conditioning was number two. Right, well, Oxford, largest city in Ventura County, 
and it's right on the coast, Ventura right on the coast, so those two cities together, about 350,000 people, and that's basically about 350,000 people that don't have air conditioning. Yeah, most houses here <laughs> don't have it. Some of the newer ones do, but generally they don't. And then the third thing that people um, preferred was their number of bedrooms, that they really needed to make sure they got their number of bedrooms. And number four was storage. There was a long, long list of things, but those are the top four that buyers uh, really, really want when shopping for a home. And I thought that was an unusual part of the report, even though bedrooms was right up there, their number one criteria for moving. They didn't say how many bedrooms, so I guess the survey was just kind of a broad brush brush stroke mm -hmm. of people buying houses. So if you're going from a two bedroom or a three bedroom, three bedroom to a four bedroom, four bedroom to a five bedroom, so bedrooms made the top of the list. Right. Then the 72 percent of buyers said a life event is the reason that they moved. So generally, um, home size is getting larger or smaller. So either getting married, divorced, um, having children, children moving out, uh, kind of all the gamuts of household size was the number one reason that people are moving. And um, number two is working from home. So home size is number one and then work, working from home because so many people in the last year have had new circumstances that they needed usually more room for to work from home. Well, I find it ironic that Zillow had to do a survey to find this out. When all you had to do was talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Have our pulse on the market. That's right, boots on the ground. We uh -huh. could have absolutely told you that the number one is a life-changing event, which would be what? Getting married. Getting married. Getting divorced. Yeah. Having a baby. Baby's moving out. Right. Baby's moving to, with the parents, and then the grandparents follow the grandbaby. Uh -huh. Wherever that grandbaby might go, that's where the grand grandparents go. So that would be number one, and number two is working from home. That's what people have been doing basically since March of 2020. And the largest age group of buyers is the millennials between 27 and 41 years old. 26% of home buyers were millennials. Yes, they were. And they were how old? In 20 between 27 and 41 is a millennial. Wow, that's right there, home buying group. That, so that totally makes sense that that would be the largest group buying houses. Is that's the age to buy a house, the age to have families, and the, you know, the life-changing events, a lot of things going on from 21 to 41. That's right. Then, like I said, the number one place they're move, moving is to the south. That's the general south, however they cut that by. And then 23% to the west and 23% to the midwest. So that was a little surprising that the same amount of people are moving to the west, but I guess they're probably including everything, Seattle, Oregon, California, the whole west. Maybe all the way. It, it did not give me a map. So these no, are just generalizations. Yeah, it's a very broad survey. And we're here to put the T's crossed and the I's dotted. That's right. So buyers tend to have higher household incomes and the, than the U.S. population overall. So the annual median household income of a home buyer in 2021 is 86000 compared to the overall national median, which is 65700 that is terrific. Now, a lot of people look at the Zestimates. Zestimates can be way, way off. And a lot of questions have come up on how do you change your Zestimate? And we've got answers on that too. Yeah, well the number one way is if you're a home owner and you think your Zestimate is off, you go in as the home owner onto Zillow and fill in the details of your property. If you check the square feet, the bedrooms, the lot size, you know, pool, no pool, etc. and fill in your details and that is one way to uh, modify your estimate. I always find that ironic. They have all this information on you, but it's never enough. They, oh, always, never. <laughs> they always want more. You know? Well, and now there's more check boxes too on Zillow, things that you can have in your house. There's a bunch more boxes. They want to know everything. That's right. And the photos on Zillow live on and on and on. Uh-huh. Forever and ever. We found that in a lot of the houses, we had the big fire in 2018. 18? Yeah, 2018, we had the big fire. A lot of houses burned, over 650 homes lost to the fire. Very little loss of life, only one person died. So that's a good thing. However, when you go back on Zillow or other sites like Zillow and you look at the photos, those houses no longer is, exist and the houses that are there 
are dramatically different. Oh, it's amazing. It's just, they're just gorgeous up on the hillside now. Oh my goodness. They totally are. Totally different <laughs> land, land, uh, landscape on our hillsides now. Totally different neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Everything's totally different. Mm -hmm. uh, so household composition for home buyers in 2021, 40% have, bought, have children under the age of 18. 4% uh, have their parents or in-laws living with them. 57% have at least one dog. So you know where that leaves cats? 39%. So more people have dogs than cats. They live in homes. Now, that's, we're not counting all the people who live in apartments. This is about home buyers. I understand. So we, <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that was kind of, because kind of, I kind of thought like, yeah, you know, people who have a cat or a dog, it's kind of an equal split, but it's not. More dogs than cats. Well, I think it's easier to have a dog when you live in a single family residence just because you have a yard, a place that, you know, the dog can go outside. Where a cat, a lot of cats, you don't want to go outside. So That's true. Yeah, you know, it's, so it, it makes sense. But there's your statistical numbers on dogs for, for, uh, versus cats. <laughs> so this one was surprising. I think I already uh, mentioned it, but 28% of home buyers in 2020 paid cash for their property and 32% make sure of home buyers in 2021 have paid cash. So that number has gone up, which um, I think that's a lot. A third of the people paid cash. Yes, that is a lot. Now, we're running out of time here. I've got an appointment. Is there any last thing that you wanted to get in before we break out of here? Well, I do. 79% of home buyers did at least one renovation or remodel when they first moved in. Well, I'll get you going quickly. 68% <laughs> stayed in the same metro area when they moved. And they stayed, um, none of the other things, close to shopping and in a walkable neighborhood are other things they looked for. And I thought 34% of people would be very confident buying a home that they only saw on a virtual tour. So that would have been out of the question a few years ago. I mean, I have done it for out of area clients before, um, before FaceTime and all that, but they do come in and look at it before it closes. But now with all the technology, it's much easier to look at it virtually and be confident writing an offer. So we're happy to do that. If you want to look at property virtually in our beautiful Ventura County, we'd love to show you. Yeah. Yes, we do have the technology to do that. We do now. <laughs> so if you know where to find us. You can always visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.